Illustrator video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can place an SVG file, scalable vector graphic, and edit it in Photoshop. Well, not exactly. You actually have to go to Illustrator to do that, but just bring it into Photoshop. So file and place. And I'm going to select one of these ones. Now these SVG files are graphic extras ones. You can find them on the Graphic Extras website, 16th century Italian type designs. Just click place. Uh, I'm going to just make it a bit more visible. Now, unfortunately, that's just a raster layer now. And of course, if I try and edit it with a direct selection, just look, nothing. What you can do, just see over here, you can just quickly go over here. You can see this little on layers, window and layers. Just click there, goes into Illustrator, and I'm going to zoom in a bit because it can't. Select that, and you can change the colour, you can resize it, do a number of things. I'm just going to resize it a bit, maybe add additional paths, so you can do a whole range, maybe duplicate the design, and much more. So once you've actually done that, you've changed it, now you can go back there, save. Now it doesn't actually change the original, so this is just click save, the original is still untouched, that number nine. I'm just going to go now back to Photoshop and there it is, you've got the design and of course you can then do various things, duplicate it and much more. And of course you can still add additional effects to it, colour it, it's a smart object so you can just come over here to filter, blur and all that sort of thing. You could of course like use file open but I prefer the place command and it's much easier just to quickly edit the design that way. So. There is quickly using the place command to bring in SVG files into Photoshop and combine them with Illustrator to edit them. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.